What's up everyone, Kita Sean here, so I'm pretty sure everyone is excited for summer. Going to the beaches, going hiking, basically the outdoors, or you can be like me and just be very, very excited for FGO Swimsuit Servants. So with that said, we're going to go ahead and finally do a Swimsuit Servant Spotlight video and we're going to go ahead and start off with Tomamo no Mai Lancer. For those who don't know, Tomamo no Mai Lancer is a limited 5 star Lancer from the very first beach event and NA players are very excited for this because we're expecting the very first swimsuit event to pop up this summer. I'm assuming that we're going to get information on the swimsuit event at AX this year, so in a couple of days during the Aniplex panel. So if you guys are going, be excited. I think you can expect some news. If not, they'll probably announce it maybe a week or like two weeks after AX. Like I think they actually might run the event either late July or early August. Like that's my my timeline for the swimsuit event. But I mean, either way, we're going to be very, very excited for it. But for those who play the JP version, she recently came back as a milestone download raid up servant along with some other servants that we're going to be talking about in another video so be excited for that but let's go ahead and focus on Tamamo no Mai Lancer. So let's go ahead and talk about Tama Lancer's servant skills. So her first servant skill is going to be Beach Flower EX, increased attack of all allies for 3 turns, level 1 10%, level 10 20%, and then increased critical star drop rate for male servants only. 3 turns, level 1 22%, level 10 42%. So again, the second ability on this first skill only works on male servants. Female servants will not get this buff whatsoever. But it doesn't hurt to bring a female party with Tama Lancer. Just think of the second ability as a bonus if you bring male servants with her. Now, right now in the NA version, there are a lot of male servants that work very well with Tama Lancer. Of course, these male servants will still exist later on in the future, but later on, you're going to see a lot of female servants that work a lot better with Tama Lancer. So just expect the second ability to like disappear. Like, think of it. Think of Beach Flower EX as a, a attack increase skill only. So her second ability, Midsummer Curse A, decreases defense for 3 turns, level 1 20%, level 10 30%, inflicts curse for 5 turns, 500 at level 1, level 10 1000, and it also inflicts charms for 1 turn, but it increases the enemy charge by 1. So this does have a demerit, but this skill is too good not to, not to use, so like... I, I believe just giving them one charge is nothing like, as long as you can kill the enemy servant or enemy mob uh, before they can use their noble phantasm then you should be okay so it, it's possible with Tomamo and her teams so like th that demerit is nothing in my opinion so her third and final ability is a self target ability called goddess metamorphosis B it applies invincibility for a turn as well as increased critical strength critical star drop rate MP gain debuff resist and HP recovery amount so with having so many abilities on one skill there is a demerit now the demerit is to inflict stun for one turn on herself after the turn you use this skill so unlike the first demerit that we talked about in the second skill this demerit actually hurts but there are CEs, there are servant supports that can get rid of this debuff, but we'll talk about that once we get into the team setups and CEs, but this demerit, it is possible to get by. If for some reason you don't have any CEs or servant skills that can get rid of the demerit, it's fine, it's only one turn, you're most likely going to live anyways because you evaded their MP, the enemy MP attack or something that can kill her off, but uh, I, I, I do think you can still live even after the stun like if you want to protect her after then just use skills like invincibility or evade that applies to allies so if you get, if you have any of that then that works too so Tama Lancer has three class skills writing a increased quick card performance by 10% territory creation a increased arts card performance by 10% and divinity a plus plus apply damage plus 230 
So her noble phantasm Tokonatsu Nikko Hiyoke Kasachouai Ishin is a single target buster noble phantasm that does 600% at level 1, level 5 a thousand percent, and on overcharge she does bonus damage against male enemies 150% at level 1 and level 5 200% so really strong against those boss enemies that are male. Her command card lineup is 2 quicks, 2 busters, 1 art. Quick card does 4 hits, Arts does 2, Buster does 3, Extra Attack does 4, and Noble Phantasm also does 4 hits. So Tama Lancer is considered a Buster Servant, but she actually works in a lot of quick teams as well. Like, her star generation is really, really good. And not only that, if you pair her up with any quick male servants and you use her first ability and her third ability, you're going to get a lot of critical star drop rates and not only that, a lot of damage as well. So she works in both quicks and buster teams, but ideally you want to put her in a buster team. So let's go ahead and talk about team lineups now. So because JP has so many servants, in the game already we're gonna go ahead and talk about the servants that you can use in the na version upon her release so let's go ahead and start with the na version first then we'll talk about the jp version so like i said earlier ideally you want to bring her in a team full of buster servants so that you can get a lot of buster chain so ozzy is a really good one he can be your support he can also be your sub attacker because of his charisma skill as well as his mp gain skill and not only that buster chain you can again get a lot of that Gilgamesh as well but he's gonna be your attacker you can also bring Arturia Lancer Alter you can use her as an attacker as well as doing a lot of crit damage alongside Tamamo no Lancer uh, you can also bring servants like Waver and Shakespeare for support uh, Leonidas for the uh, increase of Buster, so a support slash sub attacker. You can also bring uh, Francis Drake for the MP buff as well as attack buff and then Buster Chain as well. Uh, you can also use her as an attacker. Um, Elizabeth is also a pretty good one. Uh, Bryn Hilde, really good one, especially in the JP version because of her upgrade on her third skill, which we'll get into in a bit. But yeah, those servants are actually really good. You can also bring in Skandar, J Alter, they work very well. Also, Zhang Zhang is actually a really good one with her because of her third skill. MP gain, critical drop rate up, and not only that, it nulls the, her debuff so basically you can get rid of the stun on her third skill now we're gonna go ahead and talk about the jp servants obviously all these servants will eventually come into the na version so this is just a heads up of what's coming for tama in the future so merlin obviously a big one uh he's technically a good support for anyone especially for tamamo uh charisma fantasy increased attack increased mp you also have Hero Creation EX, increased Buster Performance, heals her for 3 turns, increased Critical Strengths for a turn. His second skill, apply Invincibility, increased Critical Star Drop Rate, decreased Critical Rate for all enemies. So all of his skills work very well with Tamamo. And not only that, his MP, Heal, increased Critical Star Rate, uh, increased MP Gauge for 5 turns. So. Tamamo has it all when it when Merlin hits so Merlin is gonna be a huge one in NA when he comes in obviously already a huge one in JP Erushka Guild is also gonna be a good one you can use her as an attacker her third skill is really good because it applies to all allies increase defense for three turns increase MP gain increase maximum HP so you can use that as a defensive mechanism uh, you can also use her again as an attacker so she works very well with Tama Lancer but I think Tamamo's best friend is going to be Raikou Lancer. You can use her as a support, you can use her as a sub attacker. Raikou Lancer's second skill gets rid of the stun, I mean increased attack, critical drop rate gains as well. So I think Raikou is probably going to be that uh, that best friend for Tamamo. So, uh, yeah, Merlin, Tama Lancer, Erishkigil, all really good. Of course, you can bring other servants like Berserker of El Dorado. You can either add a support, add an attacker as well. Vlad Lancer, support attack as well. 
Um, I mean, you can bring Berserkers if you want. Kuhuling, Alter, Hercules, like anyone that gets a Buster Chain and you can use as a secondary attacker will work very well with Samamo. But if you really want to put her in quick teams, I mean, go ahead. It doesn't hurt at all. I mean, anyone quick is fine. But I think if you're going to put her in a quick team, you should pair her up with male servants instead of females because, again, her first skill increases the critical drop rate for males. So definitely quick teams with male servants is best for Tamamo. So some CEs that you can put on Tamamo Lancer when she releases in the NA version are CEs like Gudao, increased critical strength, MP strength. So what you want to do is put something around that area, critical strength and MP strength. Uh, you can also put uh, Zelrich. Zelrich is actually a really good one because uh, if you're worried about cost, you can just throw, it, throw this on. MP gain by 5%, MP gauge by 25% to start a battle, so not bad at all. Of course, Kaleidoscope 2030 are always staples that you can put on. Hot Spring Under the Moon is also a good one. Increase, uh, increase critical strength by 20%, gain 3 critical stars per turn. And of course, Vessel of the Saint is probably one of my favorite ones on Tama Melanter because of the applied debuff immune for 3 times. So it gets rid of the stun ability on the third skill for Tamamo Lancer and not only that it increases MP gain by 15% and 20% at max limit break so this CE is really really good for Tamamo Lancer. So like the servants these craft essences will eventually come into the NA version so this is just a future reference what you can use in the future of the NA version. So Pharaoh Chocolato, probably the best CE in my opinion for Tamamo Lancer. Increase Buster, increase MP strength, increase MP gain. So three abilities on one. So this is definitely one of the best CEs to put on Tamamo Lancer. You also have Holy Knight Supper, increase MP gauge, increase critical strength, increase MP strength. Uh, you can also put in Heretic Yaga, which is actually a CE, a free four star CE that you get after beating Lost Belt. Uh, Aerial Drive is also a really good one. Um, Summertime Mistress, when the event first started, uh, or when the beach event first comes out, this is definitely a really good one to, to put on to, uh, to Mama Lancer. Uh, you can also put Participation of the King, which is a CE that releases during the one year anniversary. So uh, this is honestly a pretty good one as well on to Mama Lancer. But in my opinion, anything that increases like multiple uh, stuff on one CE is really good. So that's why I'm saying Pharaoh Chocolato is probably the best CE for Tamamo because again, Buster, MP Strength, MP Gain is everything that you need for Tamamo. So that was my spotlight video on Tamamo Lancer. And again, Tamamo Lancer is a limited five star servant. And unfortunately, she's actually in a different gacha than Arturia Archer. So those two will be separated. And I'm pretty sure F2P players are gonna be asking the question, who should I roll more, Arturia Archer or Tamamo Lancer? Now, in my opinion, I say Tamamo Lancer because she's gonna be a really strong servant. Even to this day, she's still really strong, as well as Arturia Archer. But Tamamo Lancer is just a servant that you shouldn't skip on. Like she's just too strong. Her skills and everything are just so good alone. But I think if anything, if you already have good Lancers and don't roll for Tamamo, go for Arturia if you don't have any Archers. And the opposite can be said about Arturia Archer. So uh, it's preference, honestly. But I really think Tamamo Lancer is worth the roll. I mean, of course, both of them are worth the roll, but. If I were to pick one of them, then I, I would go with Tamamo Lancer. But Arturia Archer is for a different video. I will upload a video on her in a later date, so look forward to that. But yeah, that was my spotlight video on Tamamo Lancer. Again, I'm assuming that the event will happen late July or early August, and I'm assuming that they will announce something during Anime Expo. If not, maybe a tease, or maybe like a week or two after Anime Expo, who knows. But I, I, I think we can expect the summer event to come out this summer. So again, look forward to that. Hope this helped a little bit, and again, I will see you guys in the next one. Laters!